Welcome back to our channel. Today, we are diving deep into the captivating world of the Hamar tribe. Brace yourselves, because we are about to explore the intriguing rituals and preparations that young girls go through before marriage. Trust me, this is a topic you don't want to miss. From sacred initiation ceremonies to the intricacies of marriage preparation, we will uncover the fascinating traditions that have been passed down through generations. So, stay tuned until the end, as we unravel the secrets of the Hamar tribe's girls' sacred initiation rituals and marriage preparation. And before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and leave your thoughts in the comments below. Let's get started. The Hamar tribe, located in the southwestern part of Ethiopia, is known for its rich cultural heritage and unique traditions. Among the many intriguing customs practiced by this tribe, one aspect that stands out is the girls' sacred initiation rituals and marriage preparation. These rituals hold great significance within the community and play a crucial role in shaping the lives of young girls as they transition into womanhood. In the Hamar tribe, these initiation rituals mark a pivotal moment in a girl's life. They typically take place when the girls reach adolescence, usually between the ages of 12 to 14. The initiation process is an elaborate affair, spanning several weeks, and involves various ceremonies and preparations. One of the key aspects of the initiation ritual is the jumping of the bulls. This event symbolizes the girls' transition from childhood to adulthood and signifies their readiness for marriage. A group of young men, often relatives or close friends, are selected to jump over a line of bulls. The girls are required to run across the backs of these bulls without falling, demonstrating their strength and agility. This ritual not only showcases the girls' physical prowess but also serves as a test of their endurance and determination. Aside from the jumping of the bulls, the initiation process also involves the girls being adorned with intricate body paint, jewelry, and traditional attire. They receive teachings from experienced women, who guide them on various aspects of married life, including household chores, child rearing, and maintaining a harmonious relationship with their future husbands. Marriage is highly valued in the Hamar tribe, and the initiation rituals serve as a preparation for this significant life event. The girls are educated on the responsibilities and expectations that come with being a wife, as well as the importance of loyalty and commitment within a marriage. They also learn about the cultural norms and traditions that govern Hamar marriages, ensuring that they are well equipped to navigate this new phase of their lives. The initiation rituals not only prepare the girls for marriage but also serve as a means of preserving and passing down the tribe's cultural heritage. Through these rituals, the Hamar tribe ensures that their customs and traditions are upheld and safeguarded for future generations. It is a way of instilling a sense of pride and identity in the young girls, allowing them to fully embrace their cultural roots. While the initiation rituals hold great significance within the Hamar tribe, it is worth noting that they are not without controversy. Some argue that these practices perpetuate gender inequality, as the emphasis on marriage and domestic responsibilities may limit the girls' educational and career opportunities. However, it is essential to approach this topic with cultural sensitivity and respect for the tribe's traditions, recognizing that different societies have their own unique ways of defining womanhood and preparing young girls for adulthood. In conclusion, the Hamar tribe's girls' sacred initiation rituals and marriage preparation are deeply ingrained in their cultural fabric. These rituals serve as a rite of passage, marking the girls' transition into womanhood and preparing them for the responsibilities of marriage. While these practices may be subject to debate, they remain an integral part of the Hamar tribe's identity and heritage, ensuring the preservation of their customs for generations to come.